Hello. Give me all your money. Uh, uh, uh. That didn't turn out so well, did it? And it may have scared you a little bit, or actually made most of you laugh, which probably it shouldn't do. Fortunately, violence is a reality that we have to face as Americans and college students, with our late nights out or co even coming home from work. Every time we step out into a public place, we face the risk of being targeted for assault. And not everyone knows the preventive measures we can take to stop this kind of violence. I've been in martial arts for about five years now, and I've had my share of close encounters. And these experiences have taught me how to prevent and what to do in a self-defense situation. It's very important to me to share these experiences with others. And I want to show you how to prevent being targeted, how to de-escalate a situation, and what to do in case you do have to physically defend yourself. It's often taught that one of the most effective ways to, defend your, uh, to avoid being attacked is to prevent being targeted in the first place. If you noticed, when I came up here, posture was poor, my head was down, and I didn't look that great. This, these, these are dangerous for a few reasons. Here are two. A poor posture conveys that you have little confidence and makes you seem like a weak or an easy target. Your head down shows that you have a little to no awareness of your surroundings or anybody who may be approaching you. What needs to be done differently is this. Head up, shoulders back, and back straight. Also, Scott Combs, a high-ranking martial arts instructor, told me to walk with a purpose, which shows that you have confidence and awareness of your surroundings, which makes you a much less appealing target. As much as we may try to avoid being targeted, sometimes it just can't be done. This is when we need to identify and de-escalate the threat. When you begin to feel uncomfortable or feel like something just isn't quite right, that's when you need to start be being really aware of your surroundings. Something I was told by Scott Combs also was that when you go, in public, go into a public place, you need to set a perimeter around yourself in which you will not allow strangers. This is something you need to look out for, someone encroaching on your personal space. Other things to look out for are someone standing near your car for no apparent reason, somebody eyeing you from the other side of the sidewalk, or even being followed. Once you have, uh, once you have identified the attacker, or your potential threat, you need to deal with it accordingly. And according to Mark Larson, a fifth-degree black belt in Aikido, one of the most powerful weapons we have is our voice. And this means, once you've identified your threat, you need to, you could uh, address them verbally, saying something along the lines of, no, or what are you doing here? It's important to know, however, that when you do use your voice, you need to speak with confidence and purpose, such as, instead of this, no, this, no. I was also told by all three martial arts instructors that one of the best ways to evade the attack is to leave the, situa leave the area before the situation even starts and go somewhere safe. Unfortunately, sometimes all the preventive measures in the world cannot stop somebody who is sick in the head from attacking. So that leads us to the question, what do we do when we are attacked? Well, there's a common myth that says when you're attacked, comply 100% with the attacker's wishes. But when I asked Michael Klein up here, a karate instructor, about this myth, he told me that it's completely false. In fact, he showed me a study done by Carton Kleck that when somebody defends themselves physically, their odds of survival, or odds of injury, decrease dramatically. I don't know if you guys can see that, but big number difference. But how do we defend ourselves, especially if the person's bigger and stronger than you? Well, keep it simple, and repeat after me. Blunt trauma is my friend. This means hit them. A few simple things are palm strike, bar, or headbutt. All very powerful, all very simple, straightforward. Once you have, once you have, uh, remember, Clear 
the area and run away as soon as you possibly can. After you have cleared the danger zone, remember to call the police and learn from your experience. Now we have covered a few basic instructions on how to prevent being a tar targeted, how to de-escalate a situation, and what to do in case you do have to defend yourself physically. Remember, life is valuable and protect it with all you have. And one final tip for self-defense is from the great Mr. Miyagi from Karate Kid. Best way to block a punch, not to be there. Oh, uh, real quick, I have a handout for everybody that, will help, that may help you uh,